Hello everyone. Today is quick tips and hacks on improving our mental health and wellness. I'm going to talk about how we physically change our environment can positively affect how we think, feel. So, something as simple as like this. If I suddenly do move away, oh look at that mess. And you're like, oh before it's like, oh so nice and clean and neat. But then you see all this mess. Well, that's how it can affect us cognitively, how we feel. When we are in an environment full of messy things, clutter, it actually makes us feel more stifled, uh, more cluttered in our thoughts as well. And there's that lack of free flow of thoughts because all these things are around us and it can affect how we physically feel and think. <clears throat> now, here's a quick tip. When you're trying to get rid of clothes, so all these clothes I'm going to donate, I actually don't use. Uh, anymore and it, 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 we tend to like to keep things because you're like oh maybe maybe one day we might need it well here's a tip take a coat hanger or your clothes hanger and then you hang it instead of normally hanging your clothes so if my arm was the rack like this way and we normally pull it off the rack like this turn your hook around and can you see how I have to do the extra effort of dipping under and hooking it and then when I want to take it off I have to lift it up and hook it up, not like my normal action because you can see it'll get stuck. So if you ever try that tip and you never come across that feeling like, oh, I've never had a hard time taking off this one item, that probably means you never use it or you rarely use it. So it's high time probably you kind of donated it and released it because you don't really need that in your environment. You don't need that clutter. So by slowly getting rid of things, or not slowly, or just doing a cleanse, like of your environment, it will cleanse how you think and feel. And that's how your physical environment can affect you, just by just getting rid of stuff. And I'm not throwing stuff on the floor, I actually have a container here. <clears throat> and then just kind of getting, putting it away. <clears throat> or you can just take a moment and appreciate what you know, those items have brought you the joy, the fond memories, but then you know those are memories that will last you forever. You don't actually need those physical items. And by getting rid of everything here, let's see if I can reach this far one here. Yes, okay. By getting rid of everything, can you see? Oh, it opens up that space and it gives you that flow, that feeling as well, internally, that clear space for you to think and feel and you actually start naturally feeling better just by simply changing your environment. Now let me give you an example how the power of physically changing your environment can change how you react and think about things. So for example, when you tend to go shop a lot or spend money on coffees and you're trying to start saving money and you have like say your credit card hooked up automatically to pay for, say, your coffee, like your Starbucks app, you could actually preload a certain amount and not hook it to your credit card, maybe a debit card, with a certain amount. And once it's up, that's it. You don't get any more for that month or that week. And it actually takes more effort. So you physically change your environment by changing how you use that app, by changing which card you're using, that's a physical thing. Um, and you're no longer, you have to do extra processes. You have to add more money into your debit account and then re, you know, redoing it, this whole process, and that extra effort will most likely deter you from spending that extra money. Or well, here's another tip or an example, like how you're trying to maybe lose weight or, or not gain more weight. And every day on your way home, you walk by this bank that's your environment and every time you see this bakery you're tempted visually or by smell you want to get some of these baked goods and that of course doesn't help with your waistline so what to do instead of walking home and taking that regular route you can take another way maybe just skip one block and walk around the back end or go down a different route and by physically changing your environment you're less likely to be tempted by those baked goods and most likely you're not going to take the extra effort to go back home and then or walk back and backtrack around just to go to the bakery again. And because you change that environment placement of where you are, you're 
more likely to not eat those items and more likely achieve your goals of losing weight. So that's the power of harnessing changing your environment and I encourage you to do it. Do subscribe and leave comments on how you change your environment or what you do to help you achieve your goals or how to help you make you feel a certain way by just physically changing your environment. I'd love to hear that from you or leave comments um, on the Instagram if you do follow me at Rain or Shine Therapy. And if you want more information about me, I encourage you to visit my website here below. Thank you.